So here's the situation. You want to release a song that you've collaborated on with another artist or multiple artists, but how do you manage splitting the royalties? Well, thanks to our friends at DistroKid, it is easier than ever. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live Today, where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And if you are looking to release music and you're not already aware of DistroKid, they are an online music distribution platform that can help you get your music onto Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play and a whole bunch of other places. Now, a huge thank you to DistroKid who are sponsoring this video. There is a discount link down in the description where you can save 7% off your first year with DistroKid. So if you're not already a member, check that one out. If you are and you're ready to release music and want to split those royalties with other artists, let's dive in now and see how it's done. Here we are at distrokid.com. I'm in the My Music section and here are all of the singles, EPs and albums that I've released over the last four years using DistroKid. Now, on some of my more recent songs, I've actually had another artist provide the drums. So what I wanted to do is set up to provide some of the royalties from those songs to go directly to that artist. And I can do that using the very cool Teams feature here in DistroKid. So let's now click on the Teams option here. It's gonna drop us into this screen here. And what we can do is select a release. So in this case, I wanna grab this song called New Beginning and we can hit the Next button and it's gonna take us into where we can set up our royalties revenue share on this song. So right now you can see here 100% of all revenue is going to me. But what we can do is hit this button here to add a new team member and decide what revenue share they'll get. So I want 20%. We can grab this one. We can go 20% and click there. And now 80% is going to be 20% to a new team member. Now what I can do is hit the drop down here. Now I actually already have Jade Star, who created the drums for this track as a team member. We've already done a bit of a test run of this. So I'm going to select her there and that is all we need to do there. All I need to do now is hit the review changes button and we'll be good to go. And here we are on the confirmation screen. We can go ahead and save the changes, but let's just check the details. You can see we've got Jade with 20% of this track. I've got 80% and check out these things at the bottom here because you need to keep in mind that the splits affect future earnings only. Anything already in your DistroKid bank will not be split, but we can go ahead and change the teams and percentages at any time. So let's hit save changes and be done. Oh, that is once we put our password in here, so let's do that and confirm. And there you have it, as simple as can be, yeah, but we already had Jade as a member of this team. So let's just jump back and show what we would need to do if we wanted to add someone that wasn't already part of a team here in DistroKid. Once again, we're in teams in that same spot. If we wanted to add yet another team member here, instead of selecting Jade, we would go add someone new. All we need to do is enter the email address and follow the exact same steps. That's what I did the first time around. And here's a look at what Jade received. So you can see there that she's received the email. She can go in and follow that one in. Now this time, instead of actually going directly into teams, she's got an invite code, as you can see there. All she needs to do is make sure she she has that invite code. And then if she already has a DistroKid account, which she does, she can actually go ahead and set up Teams. Now, here's the good thing. If you don't already have a DistroKid account, DistroKid will give 50% off to any of your team members of their first year of DistroKid. So that's a pretty good deal. If you're collaborating with another artist, you can save them half of their first year's membership with DistroKid. Now that's cool for a single, but what about if we want to add Teams to an e EP or to an album. Well, let's jump in and show you that now. Once again, we're going to click on Teams and we're going to jump on down. Now, this time we're going to select Maybe, which is an EP. So it's got more than one track here. We'll hit the Next button and here you can see all we need to do is do the exact same thing we did before, but here we can actually set it up for each individual track. So this makes it, again, super simple. If you've got a whole album or an EP and you've got different artists on different tracks, you can set up different shares of revenue for each individual track. Follow the exact same process and you'll be good to go. What about if you want to check the team's setup for a particular song? Well, that's super simple. If we just click on this one, New Beginning, it will open 
open up and as we scroll down here, as well as all the rest of our information about credits and downloads and lyrics and all the other things, we've got this section. So you can see that our team here was created today, the 29th of October, and we've got me there and we've got Jade. And if we want to edit the team or see the team history, we can click one of these buttons. Let's jump in and look at the edit team options that we have here. And this should look super familiar because what we can do here now is change this up. So let's say we want Jade to have 25% and why not? We can do that and we can hit review changes. And there you go. We've now got that one. We save the changes in. We put our password in again and that change has been made. Now, if we go back in to New Beginning, we can check out the changes that have been made. So there you go. Uh, it has not yet been accepted. So because we've made a change and we've just sent it through, this is what it will look like if the other party hasn't accepted. So Jade has to accept that one and then that will update to look just like it did before. If we want to see the history of the team, we can click this button over here and this will show us that in the beginning, it was all me. We went 80-20 here, and then we've got a 75-25 split, but Jade hasn't accepted that one yet. So as soon as she accepts that, that will update, and then everything will look just as it did on the previous one. There you have it. How simple is it to use the Teams function to split your revenue here in DistroKid? A big thank you again to DistroKid for sponsoring this video and thank you to Jade Star for being part of this and providing the drums for these tracks. You can check out Jade's channel down in the description as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.